Mouth is. See? Yeah, you got it all set up. Put this thing out for a pee. And I go for a pee. And pancake time. My great idea to make pancakes sucks because my house leans. Uh, whatever. Today's breakfast brought to you by the letter F, as in fail. Even with spraying Pam on this thing, the surface is still sticky. I cleaned it pretty good yesterday. I don't get it. I think I'm going to throw this thing in the garbage. Yeah, going for it, I'm just going to use the frying pan. This thing's definitely going in the garbage. It's a piece of shit. I think there's a reason why I stopped using it and just let it sit there. But uh, lately I've been really wanting to minimalize my stuff because as you see on this countertop, I got a lot of junk over here. Like I got the air fryer, which I need, but I have two blenders. So I'm going to get rid of that one to keep the Ninja, you know. Over here I got two coffee makers, the friggin' Keurig and the coffee maker, but I use them both, so whatever. Toaster oven I don't use, but I'll hang on to for now. Just a lot of shit I want to get rid of though, like all, all sorts of stuff up here that I'll just never use, so chuck it in the garbage and move on. Yeah, maybe it's just because I let it sit too long, I don't know what the case is, but uh, yeah, these this thing's a piece of shit. I'll wait till it cools off, I'll, I'll clean it up. Maybe I'll throw it outside in the yard sale pile or something. Really not happy with the way my breakfast looks today. Doesn't look as appetizing as yesterday, that's for sure. I'm gonna be hungry in like an hour. All right, well, bon appetit, or whatever. Hopefully I don't get salmonella for my uncooked eggs. All right, guys, it's 11 o'clock, first break of the day. Normally I go at 10.30, but uh, it's been a little bit action-packed today, so I decided to wait a little longer and bang out as much work as possible before going on a break. <laughs> Any hoozle. Yeah, I think going forward, I'm just gonna use the frying pan. Man, I waited till 11 to come downstairs to go for a piss, and that was probably not a good idea, because frig sakes. But yeah, those pancakes, like I'm still full, but they were not that good with the um, with the way they came out. I'm thoroughly not impressed. So there's a reason why I haven't used this flat top, and now I know why. Because number one, it takes up too much freaking room. Number two, it's kind of garbage. Not to clean the damn thing. There, back from whence you came. Is whence a word? She is a mouth face, mouth, mouth, mouth. So, looks like it's another doom and gloom kind of day today. Um, that's okay. What? What are we doing? People are asking me, uh, why do I always ask the hockey puck what the weather's going to be and not use a weather radar? And uh, my answer to that is because um, I never thought about using a weather radar. See, back in the day when I was back in the office, you know, pre-March, I would just ask my buddy Terry in there and be like, hey, Terry, am I going biking tonight? And he literally always had the weather network open. He'd be watching the radar daily. So he'd be like, only if you go before 630 because we're going to get bucketed on then. And I'd be like, all right, Terry, sweet. And then I would know like 630 was going to rain. But now I don't have Terry. I only got his Google hockey puck, a cat and a dog. And only one of those things can talk back to me. So... You know, I'm used to getting my information from someone else rather than digging myself when it comes to the weather. So I'm going to have to figure out how to use those weather radars because, um, yeah, I kind of like biking and I don't know. I'm probably not going to go tonight, though, because tonight is a lifting night and uh, I'm going to try and press some more of those. Get these delts to pop. Get them all friggin' jacked. Eh? Get stacked and jacked. Get the weights racked. Get the back cracked. Yeah. I have no idea what the hell I'm saying anymore. I just pick up the camera and talk to it. It's, Welcome to the wonderful world of vlogging, people. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to say. Wee. You're such a goober. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> so I think for lunch today, I'm going to do chicken and fish because it's always nice to eat something that once flew and something that once swam. At least in my mind, anyway. I don't have any real fish. All I have is fake fish. And by that, I mean cod fillets. And when I say real fish, I mean like a locally sourced lake. So we're going to do some cod fillets and some chicken. Keep the protein levels high. And keep the calorie intake low. And that way there, we're not super hungry. And tonight when we bang out our workout, we'll feel super happy. And then after the workout, I'm going to do another thing like I did last night where I cooked up a... Um, the uh, freaking lettuce and ground beef. And by beef, I mean chicken. <laughs> the mouse. She thought I was going to step on her. Look at her stupid face. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at your stupid face. Scabers. Scabers. Look at your stupid face. If you pet her really rough, she gets mad. 
She hasn't bit me yet. It's gonna happen. I'm just gonna get sick of my sh Look at the sun. Look at the sun out there. Wow. Did you look at the sun? <laughs> Scampers. Why? I'm trying to show them the sun. I'm trying to show them the sun. Can you move your head? Can you not? <laughs> You're such a wiener. <laughs> Anyway, look at the sun out there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You're such a wiener. You're just such a little kitten witten. You're just, I can grab your whole bum with my hand. I can grab your whole... What are you doing? <laughs> You're funny. You're a funny cat. Well, shit on a shingle, it's time for me to go back upstairs and get back to work and earn my paycheck so I can afford to go fishing and not catch fish. But this weekend, guys, um, I don't know if we're going to go on Friday or Saturday, but someday we're going to go to a new fishing point. We've been finding all sorts of lakes by using Google, uh, Google Maps. Pretty good resource. You just go overhead and kind of fly around and look for things that are blue and hope there are lakes and not ink smudges and then uh, decide if you want to go fish them. So we found a couple that we're going to go check out and uh, we're going to do that this weekend. Should be fun. Just got to get there. We're almost halfway there. Whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. Goodbye. Okay, I got to quit looking at kayaks. Holy crap, do I ever want one? They look like so much fun just scooting across the water. <clears throat> a friend of mine uh, sent me a link to a site down in the Aurelia area called kayak kayak yakety or something like that yakety yak or yakety yeah kayakety yak sure that's probably already pissing you off that i'm saying that over and over again but um uh, told me to check them out because that's where he bought his kayaks and he said uh the prices were great and the quality is amazing you know though, like there's multiple reasons why i prefer a kayak over a boat and I mentioned them before, like the whole nonsense of having to register all the trailers and dealing with mechanical problems with the boat and all that. Where with a kayak, you just, I can throw it in the back of the truck, take it to the beach, launch it, get out there, cast a few lines. Sure, if you catch a big fish, it's gonna pull you all over the friggin' lake, that's, that's a given. At least, you know, if you're out there and you're fishing and then you go to start your boat and your damn boat won't start, then you're paddling back to shore. At least when I'm on a kayak, I know I'm paddling back to shore. It's a lot easier to paddle around a kayak than it is a big boat. At least, I would think, anyway. So, that's why I'm thinking uh, a yak would be fine. And a lot of the times I'd probably be out there by myself anyway. Or I just want to go hit the water and put in some cardio, some upper body cardio and, and paddle around. Maybe maybe just throw a, a, a line with a top water skipper, you know, a top water bait like a crankbait or something. Just chuck it off the side of the uh the yak attach a rod and then just go paddle around and if we get a bite we get a bite and if we don't whatever maybe just get some cardio in and see if we can catch some protein why not so i joined a website on uh facebook ontario fishing and some of these people are pulling fish out and i'm trying to guess what the hell they are and i'm getting them all wrong so that's that's good that's that's good one day i'll learn my differences in fishes but until then nope I can finally tell the difference between a rock bass, a smallmouth bass, a largemouth mouth bass, and apparently we have spotted bass. That's cool. I can tell the difference between a perch and a sunfish, so that's good. Just seems to be trout and pickerel that throw me off. And by pickerel, I mean walleye. And then there's my always favorite catfish. They meow too. And catfish go meow. <gasps> meow, 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 meow. Oh, I caught a catfish. I caught a catfish. Imagine if catfishes are actually fluffy like cats and they attack, they would just chase after string. Eh? You wanna be a catfish? Catfish? No? That'd be freaking awesome if catfishes were like, you could pull them out of the water and they're like, meow, 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 meow. I don't know, I've watched a couple of videos on people catfishing. I've never eaten a catfish before. Rex says they're really good. He's had it a bunch of times. He told me if I ever catch one to give him a call, he'll be in town like in a lickety split and show me how to gut it and then cook it and then he would eat half of it. So that's all right. I don't mind feeding the guy if he shows me how to clean them. But I looked online and it doesn't look that hard. It looks like you make an incision behind the neck and then you just peel the skin back and chop the meat off and grill it. You know, uh, some people say you soak the meat in Sprite 
and it gets rid of that muddy taste. So I guess I'd have to buy some Sprite and I'm pretty sure Sprite Zero wouldn't work because it's got chemicals. I love all the people who are like arguing with me online about artificial sweeteners because I mentioned my syrup has like, like this E.D. Smith's is uh, sugar free. Well, it's not sugar. There is sugar in it because uh, there's seven grams of sugar per three tablespoons, 45 milliliters. Only 30 calorie per serving. So about three tablespoons worth, 30 calorie. And I got people freaking out about artificial sweeteners and how it's gonna cause cancer. Yet these same dummies are smoking cigarettes. <laughs> it's like, okay, so you're telling me that what I'm eating is gonna cause cancer but you're hacking 25 cancer darts a day. You're dumb. Oh well, it is what it is. You can't fix stupid, but with duct tape, you can definitely muzzle it. <laughs> like I literally turned on the camera there just to shit my pants. See what I do for you guys? You see what I do? So last night after I shut the camera off, might as well be honest, I had a bag of popcorn. Why? Because I can. Like I said, my goal is to keep everything below 100, like uh, except for protein. I want to keep my carbs under 100, fat under 100, but keep the protein above 180. So that's what I've been doing. And it's, I don't know if it's been working. I haven't weighed myself today. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna weigh myself all week now. That's what I was telling my friend. Like she, she weighs, she weighed herself in on the weekend and she does it every day. And I fell into that trap too back in the day. You know, and if you do weigh yourself every day, some days you'll, you'll get up in the morning, have a good rock and piss, hop on the scale and you come in at like, let's say 200. And you're like, yeah, I'm 200 pounds, sweet. And then, you know, the next morning you wake up and maybe you're retaining a bit of water or something, whatever the case is. You go drop a mega piss, you get on the scale and now you're 203. Well, how the hell did you gain, gain three pounds? And pe this will deter people or it'll actually cause what happened to me to think, oh my God, I'm putting it all back on. I'm just not gonna eat today. Well, no, <laughs> your weight will fluctuate. That's why I tell people, if you wanna weigh yourself every day, cool, do it. Weigh yourself, write the number on the board. Make sure you do it every day at the same time, same channel, same clothing on, preferably no clothing on. Just that way there, you can't get it wrong, you know? Cause like the shirt I'm wearing now doesn't weigh the same as my Denver Haynes shirts. This is a George shirt from Walmart. The Denver Haynes are heavier built, um, so on and so forth. So if you want to weigh yourself every day, cool, do it. Weigh yourself every day, the end of the, do, end of the week, Take all the weights, add them all up, divide them by seven. That's how much you weighed that week. Get an average. The problem with weighing is there's too many variables. You can't go by it. You just gotta basically use it as a metric. And that's why if you weigh yourself every day, you're gonna be a little disturbed because your weight's gonna fluctuate. That's why I don't bother anymore. I kind of gave up on using the whole weight idea because when I was 225 pounds last year, uh, around this time last year, yeah, I was about 225. I was in the 220s, 225s. My body fat percentage was uh, about 19.9%. And now I'm down to 17 point something percent. So obviously I'm losing fat, but I'm maintaining weight. And I'm obviously putting on muscle because I can see it on myself. So I'm just literally burning off the fat and building up muscle and maintaining the same mass, if you will, like the same weight. But. Yeah, like you can't let the scale deter you or make you do crazy radical things. I did it. I regret it. I did a lot of stupid things over this two year transformation. But all in all, we got out of it and we're doing pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna let that chicken and fish cook. Should be done hopefully soon. And then I'm gonna pitter patter, have at her, get back to work. Yeah, I was looking at kayaks on Canadian Tire. Not bad, but I don't want to pay that price. Like 600 bucks for that. Yakety has a better deal. This is the one here that I want. The uh, Volador Angler. It's 8.8 uh, .8 feet. Has a 308 pound carrying capacity and it's only 545 and it comes with the paddle. And I was told these paddles are actually pretty good. Which is something that you got to watch out for when you're buying a, a kayak. Cheap paddles equals go nowhere fast. Chicken, chicken, fish. Chicken, chicken, fish. Chicken, 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 fish. It's breaking 2.30 in the afternoon. 2.30 in the afternoon. It's so sunny McFunny outside. Look at all the sun rays. Can you see them? You should be able to see them. They're right over there. Anyway, guys, I just realized that, um, remember when I showed you the stats on my protein pancakes yesterday and I was like, oh, this is what they are. Yeah, I was way off. I don't know what the heck my computer is pulling his data from. 
when I set up my Fitbit, but that protein powder is not as bad as Fitbit made it out to be. So that's a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna let Scrappy McFluffy out for a dump. You wanna go poop? That's a yes. Man, it's such a nice day out today. Today would be a good day to go for a bike ride, but I really want to lift because uh, doing this lift and then rest and then lift and then rest, I'm seeing more gains now than I have seen like in the history of getting gains. Should have done this when I was a noob. Like anybody who's just starting off lifting weights, unless you're doing like a bro split, like one day, like don't target the same muscle within 24 hours. Give it time to repair and you're gonna notice you're gonna come back stronger and you're gonna be able to hit harder. Working out every day, doing the same damn thing every day, is hard on the body. Like, you can do it, but you want maximum gains, you, you basically want rest, because you don't build muscle lifting, you build it recovering. I know it's only Tuesday, but let's see what the hockey puck thinks about the weekend coming up. Is it going to rain this weekend? No, rain is not expected this weekend in North Bay. The forecast is 27 degrees and mostly cloudy. Okay, well that's not too bad. That'll, a little bit warm out, but uh, should be good for fishing. Of course, the lakes are warm, then you get wormy fish, which some people are like, meh, whatever, just pick around them. But I don't know, man. I never used to like buying alcohol with a worm in it. I really don't want to be pulling fish with worms in it. I guess it's extra protein. It is what it is. Yeah, one thing I want to get before I even consider getting a kayak is, uh, and I confirm my tent won't be a problem for this, is the back rack for my truck. Basically, it would go over the back area uh, where the window is and protect the truck. And what's nice is there's a spot that goes above the um, the cab. So like when I load, uh, if I get a kayak and I load it in the back and it's like an 8.8 .8 foot, I have an 8 foot box, I can literally have the back end of it against the rear of the uh, truck, like in the, against the tailgate, and the front hanging over, kind of like an air dam, and then tie it down, and then I'd have a parachute, and it would fly out of my truck and go through the window of a Cavalier and probably kill the driver. No, I'm kidding. I make sure it's tied down so that didn't happen. But like, if it did, like that would suck. Especially if it was a Cavalier and I predicted all that. Then you guys would think I'm a freaking wizard. I'd be like, yeah, man, I'm Merlin. Eat it. So I'm on my second lunch break of the day. I, I just, I didn't feel like taking breaks this morning because... It just didn't feel like it was worthy. Like I wasn't, it wasn't that busy and I just kind of did my own thing. It's been slow right now, but I remember last year when we were in the office, summer was really slow. Usually it picks up around Christmas. For some reason, people are taking vacation right now and I don't know why, because there's nothing we can do. I guess some people have cottages they can go to and stuff, but like we're supposed to be staying home and avoiding the population and there's supposed to be a ban on the Muskoka region. Actually, they're thinking about in the Muskoka initiating a um, travel trailer uh, fee, like a license, like if you wanted to travel trailer over to the Muskoka region and, you know, go camping and stuff, that uh, they were going to charge an extra fee for it, mainly because they want to uh, kind of prevent people from just going camping and overwhelming their shops and you know especially people from toronto bringing the old covid up north like we're doing good up here for infection rates the only way it spikes is if people who are infected who don't realize they're infected come up north and infect us so keep her down there wait till everything clears up and then go camping that's why like a lot of the stuff i want to do this year i'm just not doing it because um uh, covid you know it's also i i'm pretty sure the family reunion's canceled if not then they're stupid because they should just cancel that next year though if we get this covid shit under wraps and it sounds like they are uh that's another another topic i, I want to bring up that i find really annoying but um, next year, I, I do want to go back down. And you guys remember the video I did? It was a four-day video. Went to a campground down in uh, in Dunville. Hung out and did camping stuff and that. Well, this time, if I go down, I'm bringing the truck with the tent and all my camping shit. And we're literally going to stay in a slot or a lot. They have tenting lots. I'm pretty sure I can bring my truck back there. I hope so because that's my, my living quarters. <laughs> And then I'm going to camp out in the truck and we can have fire pits back there and just hang out and do our own thing. It'd be pretty awesome. But what kind of burns my tits about this COVID thing is I read a uh, article and they're talking about all these companies that are working towards a cure. Or not a cure, but a, a vaccine. And they called it a race. Like each of these, this company's ahead in the race than this company. And this company here is better. Okay, I got a better idea. Instead of racing, how come all these companies aren't like forming an alliance? sharing their knowledge so we can get this nipped in the butt sooner why is it oh you want to know why because money makes the world go round and the first company to find the cure is going to be infamous and is going to get a bunch of paper that only means something because we gave it a meaning that's pathetic 
Like we should be pooling the resources, right? And having all these companies working on a single cure as a team, not making it a race for fame and, mon and, and money. But welcome to how the world works, people. Dollar dollar bills are more important than people's lives. I love it. Welcome to this mother freaking planet. No wonder why aliens haven't landed yet. All right, guys, it's friggin' late o'clock. Not eight o'clock, it's, I don't even know what time it is right now. Just got done my workout, just got done showering. <sighs> I feel great. Why do I keep stepping on? It's like a piece of my chair. I got out here somehow. But anyway, I took some advice from uh, a YouTuber, bodybuilder, IFBB Pro. If you know what that means, I don't, but whatever. I think it's like International Federation of Bodybuilders or some, whatever, who cares. Uh, Coach Greg Doucette. Maybe you heard of him, maybe you haven't. Maybe you've heard of him for wrong reasons. I didn't know that he was a part of this. I didn't really care. Everybody has a bad past, apparently. Anyway, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, he was uh, talking about people who train their front delts and why it's useless. When you do bench press, you train your front delts. When you do uh, overhead press, military press, you train your front delts. When you're doing um, rows, you're training your front delts. Or not rows, no, those aren't rows, those are cable poles. So why would you do front raises? To, to focus strictly on your front delts, why? You're already training them big time. He said, instead of doing the front delts, do the rear delts. Save the exercise for the rear delts. So I looked up a bunch of rear delt exercises, did them, and let me tell you, my back is gonna hurt. Now I mentioned to my muscle dummy friends about, yeah, they're like, uh, oh, where'd you get the recipe for the protein uh, waffles and, and the protein ice cream and that? And I'm like, oh, it's, it's from Coach, Coach Dr uh, Greg Doucette on YouTube. He has a cookbook. I haven't bought the cookbook, it's 100 bucks, and I don't have that kind of money to buy a cookbook for recipes. Like, is it worth it? Everybody who bought it said it is, so said there's recipes galore in there, and they're all what I want. You know, low calorie, high dense meals. So like, you eat till you're full, but there's not a lot of calories in it, so the only option is, is to lean out after you eat. But I just can't justify $100 right now, and I think it's $100 US to boot. Uh, towards a PDF file. So literally I just make the video and make the recipes I see on the videos. The ice cream, the French toast, and the protein pancakes is something I just came up with by adding protein powder to the, the eggs. I don't know if he's been doing that. If he has, then I didn't steal it. I just kind of found it and did it. But a lot of my friends are like, as if you take information from that guy, didn't you know he's on HRT? For people not sure what that is, that's hormone replacement therapy. And I looked at my buddy and I'm like, dude, you inject bull semen. What do you have to stand on? Okay, my friend doesn't inject bull semen, but he does do steroids. So it's like, if you're on anabolics, you can't really talk about a guy who's taking hormone therapy because of the fact that he was on anabolics before and it wrecked his testosterone. Now he kind of needs it in order to be a man. And then another guy tells me, well, didn't you know he used to sell uh, steroids? And I just kind of looked at it. Or he used to sell, um, yeah, it was, a, I don't know, some sort of a growth hormone or whatever. He used to sell it. He used to go to the gym and sell it to people in the gym to make money. And it's like, who doesn't have a dark past? Who hasn't done something that they regret in the past? You know, the guy's a good, he's got a lot of good advice on, on lifting. He hasn't always been enhanced. He's been a natty more than enhanced. He won more IFBB Pro friggin' competitions as a natty versus being enhanced. So maybe he has some information to offer the world so I, I'll take my information from anybody, from him, from Athlean X. A lot of people are griping on Athlean X right now because of his use of fake weights, but it's like, who cares? He's showing you how to execute the exercise. Who cares if it looks like he's doing it with 200 pounds, but it's actually like 20 pounds, whatever. Like it is what it is. If you're gonna be trying to show good form, you don't wanna be loading up to your max weight and trying to show good form. You're gonna wanna use something light and go, but you don't want to use an empty dumbbell or an empty barbell because that just looks silly. So what if he's using fake weights? What's the big freaking deal? His, his tips are great for his workout forms, for ideas, except for that stupid waiter thing for getting the, uh, the biceps where you grab a dumbbell from underneath and then you raise it like a waiter platter. That's, that's just stupid. I don't like that one. Man, it's such a beauty day out. If the cat's not here, I can show you. Look at how sunny it is out there. Oh, it's about time this thing warmed up and started cooking my meat. All right, bon appetit. We got chicken, we got freaking lettuce, we got some fish. Yeah, I used uh, one of those cod slices, chucked it in here. 
It's going to add some egg, but I want that for my protein pancakes in the morning. And at this point in time, we're really above our protein score. Well, bon appetit. It's time to go eat. Decided to have a snack. Going to watch some YouTube videos. Basically going to watch this one here, the fat bike crank. And then I'm going to get to bed. The more you sleep, the more your body can recover. And the more your body can recover, the more you can lift. So tomorrow, if it's nice, I want to do some cardio. Thinking a bike ride. If not, I'll just do some farmer's walks or something. I don't know. And then we'll go from there. But as for today, guys, I'm going to shut her down. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And, uh, yep, that was a big mistake using that flat uh, pan to friggin' whatever the hell you call those stupid grill tops to make the pancakes. Won't make that mistake again. It's put away. We're going to use the frying pan tomorrow. At least that works. So thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.